Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today I'm going to be going through several uh, videos, I think maybe a two or three part series of setting up Pterodactyl Panel, and this is used for managing uh, multiple game servers. Uh, mainly I'm going to be doing Minecraft, but there's a lot that uh, you can actually use for Pterodactyl and managing, and there are a few prerequisites that you will need. First of all, is going to be a domain of some sort. I'm just going to be using a free one from Freenom, and I added it into Cloudflare, and then obviously you will need a VPS or a dedicated server. And so I'm going to be using the operating system of either Ubuntu or Debian, because that is what I personally prefer. And then I'm going to be buying some VPSs from Revivenode. The link for them will be down in the description, and you can use my code for 15% off your purchases. So let's go ahead and get some dedicated here. So there are dedicated machines that you can ask if they're in stock on the Discord itself, but I'm going to be using a VPS and you can see the specs here. So I definitely recommend uh, getting a higher spec VPS if you have a large server, uh, or just depending on what you need to use for your specific setup. I'm going to be using uh, this 12 gigabytes of RAM here, and I'm going to head and select that. So here we have a few sections we need to fill out. So hostname and root password, those can be set to whatever. You don't necessarily need for it to be your domain name. Uh, you can if you want, uh, but it's really up to you. And then of course, set your root password. And then as far as the prefix goes, you can just put NS1 and then N NS2, and of course, selecting your operating system. I'm going to be using Ubuntu 20.04 for my system, and so just bear that in mind when we're going to be running through the scripts. And so then once you have your hostname and root password, we can go ahead and hit continue. So in the net checkout, you can use my code STRIKER to get 15% off if you want to do that, uh, but otherwise we can go ahead and just hit checkout. So once you have your VPS where you ever you have gotten it from, uh, we're going to head and set up our DNS records. That is what I recommend very first off so we can let them propagate. So here is my IP address. If you are using Revive Node, uh, you can kind of do the control panel from here or you can just click the end user panel and that's going to go through Virtualizer itself and you can kind of see what is on uh, this panel here. It's pretty nice. Uh, we can just click this arrow you can kind of see the overview, graphics, uh, things like that if you want to install different versions here. Uh, so it's pretty nice. But overall, uh, I do recommend getting our DNS set up. We're going to set up an A record and this is going to be called panel and it's going to point to the IP of our VPS and we're going to disable proxy. And I'm going to set the TTL to one minute here. So make sure we have our panel there. And then the next record I recommend is setting up one for your node. So this can either be called node. You might see some servers like NA25 or like EU04 or something along those lines for that specific address for the node. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to call it node and then the same IP and turn off the proxy. And this is uh, the reason why we're turning that off is because we're using Let's Encrypt uh, for our SSL. So uh, you can use Cloudflare proxy. It just has a different setup, which I can cover in like a different video. But just for this overview, we're going to set it directly to our IP address. So once we have our IP address and our VPS online, we can go ahead and connect. I'm going to be using something called Termius, and we're just going to SSH into our VPS. So now we are on our VPS, and a few commands I do like to run very first off is making sure everything is up to date. So that can be done through sudo apt update, and we can do the and uh, apt upgrade, and then a dash y, and that's going to accept all the prompts. So we can go ahead and run through that. It's going to make sure everything is up to date, and there we are. We are everything is installed and upgraded. So once your machine is up to date, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our script we're going to be using. And this is going to be from GitHub. I will leave the link as well as the installer bash in the description. So huge shout out to Vihelm for kind of making this uh, on GitHub. So huge shout out to just the community for, for kind of keeping this up to date here. And you can kind of see all the operating systems and what it's compatible with. So we're going to go ahead and copy this bash script here. 
and we can go back to our SSH and we'll go ahead and paste that bad boy in there. So now we can kind of run through what we want to install. So on my specific server, I want to install both the panel and the wings. So this is going to be the option to select option to hit enter. And now we need the database name for our panel. And when you see it in parentheses, you can just auto accept that because that is just the panel. Uh, you can change it. I do recommend changing it if you are having um, like an enterprise uh, VPS or dedicated server that the public accesses, I do recommend changing that. Um, but for me, I'm going to keep the same and then same for username. And then you can also do a generated password or one that you have on file. Uh, I'm just going to use one I have here and we'll paste that in there. And then you can also select the time zone. I'm okay with the Europe time zone. And then, yes, we want to have Let's Encrypt. That's basically just the HTTPS. And I'm going to use my email as admin.tarostriker.tk. And then here's the email address again. So admin at tarostriker.tk. Um, and now we can have the username for our admin account. Um, I'm going to do like striker, or you can put in your email address there. Uh, we can do our first name and then our last name and then our password for our account. So I'm gonna put that in here. And now we need the FQDN, basically whatever your domain is for your panel. So for mine, it is going to be the panel dot and then tarostriker.tk. And just as a reminder, this is what we put in Cloudflare. As you can see right here, this is the one that we made. So make sure you have your A record for panel pointing to your VPS or dedicated server IP address. So that is good for me. So let's go ahead and hit enter and we can go ahead and enable UFW for the firewall. So we'll hit yes. And we also want HTTPS with let's encrypt. And uh, let's go ahead and run through that as well. Yes, we want to let's encrypt and bada bing bada boom. There we go. We are good with let's encrypt and DNS is verified. If it doesn't say verified, uh, just give it a few more minutes or hours. Cloudflare is usually super fast with that, uh, but we can go ahead and continue with the installation that's going to run through everything it needs to do here. And then we'll come back when it's the next steps. So the next thing that might come up is this terms of service. We can go ahead and just hit A for agree. And then it's going to kind of run through and it's going to do the verification challenge. And that should enable us for HTTPS. So that is perfect. Next, we'll probably go on to the node here. So this is for the node itself or wings. And let's go ahead and configure firewall. Yes, uh, we can also configure a database for the host. And we will be using this in probably in another video, but I'm going to head and hit yes for this. Depending on your system, you typically do want MySQL uh, access externally if you're using it just the host in general. If you are having just only you on a dedicated server or VPS, you can just set this to no. But for me, I'm going to set it to yes, because you might need that. Um, but then here we have the panel address, which is just going to be the same thing. So panel dot tarostriker.tk and then we're going to head and allow 3306 and then we can set the database username which is tarodactyl user we'll hit yes and then we'll also configure a specific password here and now we want to do https for our node so we can hit yes for this and then now we need the domain for our node and again in cloudflare it is going to be our node dot and then whatever our domain name is so it's pretty simple for me so node.tarostriker.tk and that's going to run through the https for the node itself and domain is verified and we can enter our uh, email address for me it's admin tarostriker.tk and we'll go ahead and proceed with that installation and that's also going to run the https for our node so we're going to head and let that run through and that should be the last section uh, for the script and once this is done we should be able to go to our website and get into pterodactyl panel
All right, once you have done all that, you should come to the very end here and we should be good to go. So this is the end. Now we can go ahead to our web browser and let's go to our domain. So now if we go to our domain, which is the tarotstriker.tk and here we have our authentication login. So now we know that our server is online and we can go ahead and start uh, adding and logging in here. So let's go ahead and log in. So I have my username, which is a striker. You can put your email address in there but we can go ahead and hit continue accept the the captcha here and bada bing bada boom this is what we're greeted with so now we go ahead and start setting up pterodactyl so if we go to admin here for the first thing we need to do is set up a location so let's go ahead and make a location here and i'm just going to call this na uh, for north america next we can go to our node and now we need to make a node and get that configured so we can hit create new and I'm just gonna call this node. And then here is our public and here's the location which is selected for NA. And then for this one, this is gonna be what we have in Cloudflare for node. Again, you can uh, change this to like NA1 or whatever, but for, for me, it's gonna be node.tarostriker.tk. Next, we can do our total memory and our usage. For this, um, depending on whatever server you're running there's a few nice commands i like to do to kind of check with that so if you do df and then dash h that's kind of going to show you hey we have 64 gigs available here what i would recommend i would probably set it to 60 for storage and then if you run a command h top you might need to install this on your system but this is a great overview of what your ram is using so here's your uh, memory or ram your swap and then your two threads uh, so one core is what i have on the vps currently so that's kind of see the overall workload and kind of what's running here so as you see we have uh, i would probably put about 10 uh, 10 gigabytes of ram on my pterodactyl so we don't run into any any issues here so as for total memory we'll go uh, 1024 so that's 10 gigs there we don't want to go over or we might crash our vps and then as far as uh, disk space we'll do like uh, we'll do 50 so we'll do uh, 5120 and then so that's 50 gigs zero over and then we can leave uh, these ports here the same so we can go ahead and hit create so next we need to go ahead and configure the node on uh, the SSH so if we click on generate token here this is going to be a command so go ahead and copy that command and that's a token and we can paste this command in our terminal all right so make sure that is uh, copied and then we can just run this command here so that should automatically do its magic and it's configuring wings for us and we should be good to go so now now that wings have been configured, if we go to our bout, um, this may or may not be spinning. If it is spinning and it's not connected to the wings, then what we can do is just start wings. So we can do system, uh, CTL, and then start, and then wings. And that will go ahead and start wings, and then now we should have this uh, load up here. So if we go to nodes, if it's green, that means we're good to go. We can click on node here, and now we have it connected to our panel. So wings is communicating with the panel, and we're good to go. So we can see all the different types of information here, which is perfect. And we can see how much uh, usage we have on the right hand side. Next thing, uh, we can go ahead and start making allocations for our specific servers we're going to spin up. So for the IP address, this is going to be the same one for our VPS. So I'm just going to copy this here real quick and we'll paste that in. And that is our IP address. But as far as ports go, we can do 25565, which is the default. And we can also set a range here. So 255, uh, we'll do like 80. So that's going to automatically create those allocations from uh, 65 to 80 and we're good to go there so now we can make a server using these ports here so if you want to add users you can click this add users go through the, the steps here email username first name last name if they're admin and if you want to set up the specific password for them here is the list of servers and let's go ahead and make a new one for ourselves so i'm going to call this minecraft 
And for our owner, it's going to be me, so we can do the striker. And for our node, we're going to be the only one, which is node. And we can set the uh, specific IP addresses, which is 25565. If you want an additional one, so this is going to be used like for voting or dine map, we can set it here as well. You can set up specific limits for databases, allocations, uh, which is just ports or backups. If you have zero, that means it's unlimited, uh, except for this one, uh, you will need to put in a number in here for that. So we can actually set this up here. Um, if it is zero on these, that means it's basically unlimited. So this will have full access to all the threads or cores on your specific server. If you want to pin it to specific threads, you can do it here. As for memory, I'm going to set this to uh, 3072, which is 3 gigs, and then we'll do uh, 5 gigs of storage. And then if you want to enable out of memory killer, that's just going to shut down the server once it reaches max RAM. Uh, that can be good and bad, especially for Minecraft, um, because things won't save properly if you just straight up kill it. Uh, so depending on whatever server you're running, um, there's various in here like Rust, you can also do CSGO, uh, TF2, ARC, uh, all that great stuff. But for me, we're running Minecraft. We're going to be Paper because that is the best one. It has some default startup commands here, which is nice. And then we're going to head and create that bad boy. So now this is going to head and start to create. We can click this little icon here. That's going to take us to the console itself. You can kind of see everything in the background that's pulling from the container. And this is all run in a Docker container, which is really great. And I do kind of like the layout of the latest version of Pterodactyl. So here we have our our address right here and we can actually copy that and that's going to copy to our clipboard I can go ahead and open up Minecraft and we can try to join this and we'll accept this EULA here and wait for our server to generate let's go direct connect and we can just use our IP address and we should be able to join the server here loading terrain and there we go all oh, look at that we are good to go and let's see Perfect. We are not lagging at all. And uh, this looks super smooth. Uh, that's awesome. All right. I love it. So this is on the VPS from Revive Node that we are hosting. A great uh, connection here. Not laggy whatsoever. And it has great DDoS protection as well. So I highly recommend Revive Node. Definitely check them out. Definitely get as much RAM as you can, especially if you're trying to make a bungee cord server. You don't want to max out your VPS and just crash it. Uh, but that is how you install Pterodactyl. Uh, there's a few other things I can make on another video, such as a database, as well as sending out emails. So let me know if you guys want to see that in another video. Leave it down in the comments below. But let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.